Hey everybody and welcome. I'm Tim Brzezinski. In this quick screencast, I'm going to illustrate to you how you can easily uh, embed existing GeoGebra resources within Microsoft OneNote and any kind of interactive notebook, OneNote, and also how stu students can uh, uh, embed their own GeoGebra constructions within their Microsoft OneNote notebook as well. So uh, we're going to do this quickly. So um, let's rock and roll and do this. So let me screen share and we'll get started. So right here, uh, I have a sample, uh, uh, a note, a one note. Uh, I'm on one note online here at the moment. Okay, and so basically, this GeoGebra sample notebook right here. So we're going to do two things. All right, here uh, I have a warm up. Again, uh, I'm sure uh, those of you that are watching are are much more of an expert at one note than I am, but uh, I'm just going to show you the GeoGebra, uh, how you can embed that. So it says here, for example, take a few minutes to interact with the GeoGebra resource below. Then please answer the questions that follow. Okay, so there's the questions. Now, to do that, I'm actually going to, I found this resource uh, online here. So all I need to do is uh, any uh, GeoGebra applet like this one that I see, all I need to do is basically go uh, to the share icon and click on OneNote. Okay, and it's, all it does is it copies the link to the clipboard. I could have copied it from up here as well, right? But whatever. That's how, so we did it now. Go back to my notebook here and command V, enter. And what that does, check it out. It actually puts the whole entire applet right on that notebook page. Pretty cool. All right. And I can move things around, you know, accordingly as such. So I'll just leave it there for now to save time. But see here, I my interactivity uh, with this GeoGebra resource within this notebook here is just as if I was actually uh, doing it, you know, GeoGebra online. But here I'm within my notebook. Okay, so I know a lot of you teachers want to, you know, take a lot of GeoGebra uh, applets that exist out there and embed them within OneNote. Well, that's how you do it. Copy the URL, uh, paste it, hit enter, it's there. And you can resize it, reformat it, do what you need to do. Now, in this particular activity, uh, I authored to help students, you know, you know, to serve as a definition writing prompt for a segment bisector versus a perpendicular bisector here, right? So see that, uh, that line is a, is a segment bisector. And now if we kind of slide this very slowly, very slowly, we'll see. Oop, I go back. Now it says this segment bisector is now a perpendicular bisector. All right, and so on and so forth. So now basically I like to create these things to just engage students. I don't like to tell students anything. I want them to play. I want them to interact, actively engage that is, and then tell me what they see. So now they can go ahead in their notebook and answer these, uh, these couple of questions here. Okay, so that's one way you can uh, embed GeoGebra into um, OneNote is to take a resource that exists just the way it is and put it in here. Now, if I refresh my URL, all right, it, it will go back to the way it was just by like looking like this. Okay, but sometimes you want to have students construct to make to create their own constructions, right? And in doing so, take their work and embed it within their interactive notebook here as well. I'm going to show you how to do that uh, through this example here. All right, in the second page uh, that I put in my sample notebook here, it says vertical angles quick discovery. And so what I did is I inserted a hyperlink, which you OneNote users know, I'm assuming you know how to do. So we're going to complete this, and I'm asking, I want to place a copy of my GeoGebra construction in the space below. Okay, so let's actually go to this hyperlink. It'll open it up in GeoGebra, okay, because the directions are pretty much written here. And these directions simply ask students to um, just to uh, create a, a pair of intersecting lines. I'll actually do it right now. Whoop, there we go. So students, they come in from after lunch. They get started right away. We'll plot the point of intersection there. And then we'll, it says here, use the angle tool to measure any two angles that are not adjacent to each other. Okay. So uh, I'll measure angle D, E, A, and C, E, B. And again, I'll turn that uh, tool off by hitting the select arrow. And now I can drag and move things around. And so I, the student in your class, or this is in my interactive notebook here, it's like, gee, you know what? It's, it's interesting at the page. Wow, I noticed those angles are always equal, right? Now, you know, now I'll learn they're called vertical angles, whatever. But, you know, I discovered the relationship that those opposite angles are always equal or congruent. So now, how do I take this construction and embed it within one note? Well, in order to do that, the students need to have a GeoGebra account first. Okay, so I'm in, I'm logged in as me. All right. So, but what I do now is go to the here, I'll go to save. 
So the student has to save the construction to GeoGebra first. All right, and so I'm just going to call it VA completed exclamation mark, right? And I'll hit save. And it says saving saved successfully. All right, so I'll do that. I got that now. And finally, um, where, where do I get that? I go new tab, GeoGebra. Go to your profile right over here. Each student will do this, that is. And then see where it says VA completed? It creates a resource right there. So click on it to view it. And now I'll do the same thing. I'll just go to the share icon, click OneNote. Link has been copied to the clipboard. And so now I'll go back to my notebook and do what I was asked to do right here. Paste, enter, and there is my work right there. Just give it a second. It's that easy. Okay, and now um, I can I can keep going and do what I need to do. But and once if I were to refresh to see how I'm interacting, it, it literally will stay exactly as I left it. If I choose to refresh this, for example, I'll hit the refresh icon here. It will literally open up just the way I would open it up within GeoGebra. The beauty here, the beautiful thing here is that it's an added convenience for the student where, you know, their GeoGebra work is literally right here within Microsoft OneNote. So that's how, uh, that's how to do that. So anyhow, where'd I go? There we are. So um, that's how you can embed existing GeoGebra resources into Microsoft OneNote. And that's how students can uh, engage in active discovery learning within GeoGebra's platform save their work and then take their saved work and put it right in their OneNote uh, notebook, Microsoft OneNote. So it's pretty awesome. I'm Tim Brzezinski. Thanks for watching. We'll have a lot more tutorials uh, coming up later this week and early next. Uh, if you like what you see here, feel free to subscribe. And um, yeah, we'll have a lot more how-tos and GeoGebra coming up in the next few days. Have a great day.